Premier Daniel Andrews will have, quote, blood on his hands if changes aren't made to Victoria's roadmap out of lockdown. That's the message from founder of Jim's Mowing, Jim Penman, who says an extension of the lockdown would seriously compromise the mental health and well-being of Victorians. Jim joins us now. Jim, good morning to you. Thank you for your time this morning. Now, I know there's a great yeah, deal of emotion here, but uh, blood on his hands, it's incredibly provocative. Well, it's, it's true because our industry is no threat to public health at all. A lone operator working alone in a garden is no threat to health. But when you throw tens of thousands of people out of work without need, you talk about mental health issues, suicide, drug addiction, child abuse, domestic violence and the rest. There's a lot of really, really grim things. I know there's independent operators out there who are on suicide watch because of this. So, it's yes, people will die as a result of the Premier's actions. No matter what um, you all say, no matter how much business rallies, and the rallying calls are from every street corner right now. The Victorian government doesn't listen to business. No, absolutely doesn't not listen. Look, I have asked some very simple questions to the Premier again and again. Why did you change your own regulations, your own expert advice that sole operators could operate safely? Why did you change that? How come council operators can work in groups when our people can't alone? The Premier has flatly refused even to answer the simplest questions. This idea that he consults with business is ludicrous. It's a joke. Do you think he should stand aside? Oh, absolutely he should. He really should. He is an utter incompetent. He has stuffed the quarantine. He's stuffing the contact tracing. He's stuffing the testing. The only thing he's good at is trashing the Victorian economy, especially industries like mine, which are no threat to public health. He should absolutely step down. He should be tossed out by his own party. Wow, you are not missing. Um, look, there is no doubt the exit plan is suffocating and crushing business at the moment. Is it a positive, though, that the numbers, Jim, are coming down? Victorians have been so stoic. I feel like you're almost there. No way. This thing will never be crushed. It'll never be eliminated. But the harm that's being done by an overreaction. Look, I'm not against reasonable... I'm, look, I, miss, I miss going out. I miss going mm. to eat at restaurants. I miss going to church even more. I don't mind that. But any restrictions should be fair, should be reasonable, should be designed to slow the infection without causing unnecessary harm to the public. You have no faith in uh, the state government's ability to contact trace to get a handle on this crisis? No, no, they're utterly incompetent. People actually have to lie that they've got symptoms to be tested. They won't even test them if they've not got symptoms. I mean, this is crazy. If they'd only accept the help offered by the federal government, then things would be so much better. The, the Premier is the cause of this problem. He's not, the, he's not the cure to it. How much communication have you had with the Premier? I mean, what do you think of him? I really shouldn't say. I mean, he's the worst, worst political leader in Australia since Federation. I cannot think of anybody remotely as bad as this. Labor, Liberal, it doesn't matter. Even his Labor colleagues in Canberra are getting fed up with this guy. He is, he is incompetent. He is hopeless. And it's also cynical politicising. How else can you explain the, the difference between sole operators who are self-employed and group operators who work for the council? It's just basically got to do with who funds the Labor Party coffers. This is not public health. This is cynical politics. Jim, what's at, you, what's at the very heart uh, of, of why you're coming out so publicly bashing the Premier? What, what's at the, at the essence of it? because there's no need for this. The original regulations for stage four, very carefully designed by health experts, and this is pages and pages and pages, said sole operators alone on site are no risk to public health and should continue. That is absolutely clear. At a press conference the next week, the Premier just comes out and he says, no mowing, no gardening, no cleaning, OK? Now, what was his reason for that? He didn't know the regulations. That's what happened. He just blurted it out and then he says, OK, I can back down, admit I've made a mistake like a decent human being or I can tow tens of thousands of Victorians out of work for no reason. Well, it's a pretty easy calculation if you're a cynical politician like the Premier. Jim, thank you for your time today. Really appreciate it and best of luck. Ali. Thank you.